Dr. Nadia Jackson. I thank you for your patience during this uncomfortable flight. I understand that you haven't had the years of training typically associated with space travel, but the work you'll be doing on board the space station is invaluable. We should be arriving at our destination in roughly another 53 hours. Thank you. I can't wait until we get to the space station. My organs will appreciate having normal gravity again. They left some old newspapers in here for me to read. Pizza with cheese, ham, onion, red peppers, cayenne, and garlic. I don't feel like meeting the other crewmates today. Maybe tomorrow. Ugh, I can't sleep. So hungry. Mmm. Better than expected from a freeze-dried meal. I should get cleaned up before breakfast. I really should shower. The other crewmates are out there. I don't want to make a bad impression. Refreshing. Nice of you to join us this morning, Mr. Winston. I know you're feeling uncomfortable, but we're almost there. Get some food and relax. Okay, let's see. I think that's Jason, Amira, and shoot, the, uh, the Norwegian woman. Can't remember her name. What is this stuff? Freeze-dried lab rat. It's just protein. Eat it. Helps with queasiness. I go by stuff. I'd appreciate it if you call me that. You're right. I'm sorry. Station. I'd like to thank you again for volunteering for this job. Monitoring subspace audio signals may not turn out to be as glamorous as it sounds, but believe me, it is very important work. Are you kidding me? I work in space. I'm practically a friggin' rock star. And I'd like to thank Dr. Jackson for getting you all here safely. Thank you, Overseer Mariah. I think you'll find a good crew here, all eager to contribute. Fantastic! Now I know you are all eager to get to your new rooms. But we think it's important that you get familiar with your workstation and job duties as soon as possible. Overseer Brond? You have each been paired up with a staff member who will show you to your workstation. Greg, you're with me. 
Feel free to ask any questions while we walk. This place is incredible. I can't believe it's just being used to monitor audio signals. Well, the station was originally used to study practical terraforming techniques on nearby planetoids. Amazing. I wonder why I've never heard of it. Probably because the funding ran dry. There's no more money for research, but private contributions allow us to keep some of the long-term programs running. Can you tell me more about my job responsibilities? We'll go over all of that once we reach a workstation. 